Welcome to Flip Lessons with Mr. Keelan. This week's topic is the legislative branch. Greetings and welcome to lesson one on our unit, exploring with exploring the legislative branch. Your objectives for this lesson are first to be able to define what is the principal role of Congress, aka the legislative branch within the separation of power system. What's its main job? Secondly, it is hoped that you will be able to identify what the two chambers of Congress are and what each one represents. What is the purpose of each one? So with that, the main job of the legislative branch is to make laws. The word legislate means to make laws. It's a verb. A legislator, a noun, is a person who makes laws, who legislates. So the legislators of the legislature legislate for the legislative branch. Wow. Where can I find my U.S. Congress? It's in the U.S. Capitol building. It's the one that you saw in the background the last slide, and you'll see again upcoming. It's a giant dome building. Almost looks like a big bell. That dome is known as the Rotunda, which you will see when we go to Washington, D.C. later on in the school year. And the main governing body of the legislative branch is the U.S. Congress. Now, the U.S. Congress is bicameral. That is Latin uh, in its root, and it means that it has two chambers. Bi, meaning two, cameral, chambers, two chambers. In total, the U.S. Congress has 535 total members, but this is split up. Um, the U.S. Senate which represents the states, has two senators per state. Well, if you can do multiplication, you know, 50 states, two senators per state, we have 100 U.S. senators. The lower chamber, the U.S. House of Representatives, represents the people. Representation is based on each state's population. States with large populations have more representatives. States with smaller populations have less. Makes sense. In all, there are 435 members of the House of Representatives. If you look here, you see the U.S. Capitol building in all its resplendent glory. If you look in the center, you see the large rotunda, the large dome. And you can see this is one very large building, representing one very large Congress. However, if you look to your left and your right, you will see that there are two separate chambers. The upper chamber is the U.S. Senate, representing the states. The lower chamber is the House of Representatives, representing the people. In all, you have one Congress, which represents both the states and the people. One legislative body representing two different groups, hence bicameral. Thinking upon what we talked about last year with the constitutional debates and with our discussion on the term bicameral, meaning two cha chambers, I'd like for you now to do question one. In your own words, define the word bicameral, especially in relation to the U.S. Congress. And secondly, I want you to think of why the framers thought it was important to have both the states and the people represented within one Congress. You can think upon our discussion on the constitutional debates from last year or take some speculation on your own. Once you're finished answering that, you are done with question, with question one and with lesson one, and you may move on to lesson two. Thanks for watching.